Hi, uh, in this video we are going to discuss uh, predicate introduced in Java 8. Uh, so predicate is a, is a built-in uh, functional interface. So like any other functional interface it can have only one abstract function. Uh, but predicate is a special uh, functional interface where the abstract function uh, takes uh, one parameter and, and returns a boolean. Uh, so any uh, any lambda expression uh, with one parameter uh, that returns a boolean can be assigned to a predicate. So here is an example uh, of, a, of a predicate uh, for a string class and so it, it takes in a single parameter and it, uh, it evaluates a condition and returns returns a boolean. So again, uh, predicate uh, is for an abstract function that, that takes in only one parameter, and and the parameter type will be same as you know the class for which we are creating the predicate, and uh, so so it's going to take in that single parameter, and it's going to check uh, evaluate a condition, and in this case it's checking whether the string is empty. And, and it returns uh, true or false. Uh, here is another example of a predicate for, for the student class and this is this is checking whether the student is in is in grade 9 so it gets the grade grade for the student and checks whether whether the student is in is in grade 9. Uh, so now now what is the purpose of you know having having a predicate? So, so basically, you know, it's a it's a lambda that that evaluates a condition and and returns returns true or false. So this this can be helpful when we are you know when we are dealing with a collection, and from a collection you want to find one or more objects object uh, objects based based on a condition. Uh, so typically, you know, in the in the past we would we would loop through through the collection, and and uh, while looping through the collection, we will evaluate a condition, and, and then return back the the result. But th the problem was, uh, you know, every met in every method the condition was hard coded, and that that le led to uh, duplication of code because the condition wa was hard coded in e each method. Now with the predicates, uh, instead of hard coding the, the evaluating condition, you could you could pass uh, the condition as a predicate to, to the method, so that uh, one single method, you know, can can accept uh, various condition and, and and evaluate that and and then return back back the result. Uh, so this this way we ha you know we would have less uh, duplication of code so that that's one of the main you know benefits uh, of of having using predicates when when we are dealing with, with collections so let let me try to um, illustrate that with an example uh, so here uh, I'm in Eclipse and uh, so I have this predicate uh, test class. And, and what I am doing here is uh, I'm using a, a student class so it's a simple uh, student class so student has uh, name uh, grade and and score and then then what I do is uh, I'm creating a, a list of students and I'm adding uh, you know various various students to this list so I, ha I have this you know four students added added to the list now let's say you know from this list of students I need to find uh, all students by grade so I want to find uh, you know all students who are in who are in ninth grade so for that that what I did I created created this method find students by grade 
and I'm passing um, the list of students to this method and I'm also passing the, the grade and then you know within the within the method I loop through all the students in the collection uh, I'm checking whether uh, whether the students grade uh, matches the grade that was passed to this method and if it matches then then I add that student to the to the result uh, list that I'm going to return back from this method so so this is fine there is no problem you know with this code uh, but now let's say if I if I need to you know find uh, from this collection of students if I need to find uh, you know students all students who scored uh, uh, who scored is greater than 90 so now I have again you know this method find students by score greater than and I pass to this method uh, list of students and I also pass the score uh, so in this method again I, I loop through all the all, all the students and I check whether the, the, the student score is greater than the score that was that was passed and if, if that is true then I add that uh, student to the to the result uh, list that I'm going to return back now now as you can see we have a we have a duplication of code here so for this method I have this loop I'm, I'm looping through all the students I'm doing again uh, you know the same thing uh, for this uh, this other method and as we all know duplication of code is not a not a good thing in object oriented programming so now the reason for all this duplication is because uh, the condition the condition is hard coded in in each method for example here uh, I'm checking uh, this condition whether the score is, uh, score is greater than you know whatever score was passed to this method. In this case, I'm checking whether the the student's grade you know is same as whatever grade was passed to the method. So that's the root cause of the problem, um, which is you know the condition is hard coded in in each method, and because of that, for every new condition we have to create a create a new method. If you have to find uh, students by grade, then you, you know, for that condition you have this method. If you have to find students by score greater than a certain score, then again, you know, for that condition you create a new method. So this results in a lot of uh, duplication of code. And this is what can be avoided, you know, by using, using predicates. Because um, predicate is, is a lambda that evaluates a condition. So now instead of the condition being hard coded in each method, you could create a method where uh, you can pass the, the condition as a, as a predicate. So let's look at this in more detail. I have created this method find students by, by predicate. And what I am doing in this method is, so, so again I am passing that same list of students. So that part is same. But but look here, here I'm passing passing a predicate, which is nothing but uh, but a lambda with an evaluating, you know, which evaluates the condition. So, so now, you know, within, I have the same, same for loop here. And all I do in this for loop is, for, for this predicate that was passed, I just check whether, I just test the condition. And this test method will, it simply you know evaluate the condition and it will return true or false and if the condition matches then I add the student to the list so what we have done here is the the condition is is no longer hard-coded so it's passed to that to, to the method and now let's look at you know how we are how the calling the calling uh, code uh, you know can pass uh, different conditions to this method find by predicate so now let's see if I if I need to uh, find all students in in grade uh, grade nine. So I'll pass pass you know this lambda. So this lambda is checking uh, it's taking a single parameter p, which is the which is the student, and then here I'm checking whether the student grade 
is is um, is 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 nine. So whether the student is in ninth grade or not. So so this is my condition, and and I simply assign this uh, you know lambda to this grade predicate, and I pass uh, grade uh, predicate uh, to this method. So this method you know will now find all all students in grade nine. Now I could have a different condition where you know I'm checking whether uh, the student score is greater than 90 so I create a different lambda so I have a different lambda to evaluate that condition I assign it uh, to again uh, you know uh, the same predicate predicate student call it score predicate and and I pass it to the same method so here is the beauty of it you can now use the same method for for evaluating you know various conditions and and from the from the big student list get a get a subset of you know students matching matching a specific condition so so basically we are we are able to uh, use the same method uh, for for evaluating you know various conditions and this is possible uh, because because we are using uh, predicate here so uh, so let me run the code here so that we can take a quick look. Uh, so, so as you can see, when I when I ran the code, uh, this first printout is is for uh, is for all students in ninth grade. So find students by grade nine. It found uh, you know these these two students who are in who are in ninth grade. And in the second case, it, it found uh, students with score greater than 90. So here I was calling, you know, these two two methods, um, two different methods to, to do that. But in the in the in the other two prints, I'm using the same method, find students by predicate, and I'm I'm just passing in the in the condition. So it, it does the same thing, but now I'm able to reuse the, the same code um, for for evaluating two different conditions. So that's the benefit of you know having predicates. It it helps in you know it it, uh, it reduces uh, code duplication by by removing um, uh, the, that hard coded condition in the method. So, so that's the that's the that's a major benefit uh, being able to to reuse code and 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 just pass the evaluating condition uh, i hope you like the tutorial thanks for watching it